definition. From the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online. And we thank you for logging on to wavy.com. Topping our webcast, York County deputies are still looking for clues in the death of a Williamsburg woman. Pictures of 48-year-old Kwan Yu Trevelyan showed up on missing persons flyers over the weekend, and then someone found her dead on the side of the road early Sunday morning. This lady that I see, like, you know, quite often, yeah, every day she walking by, I'd wave to her, and she, I hear she's missing, and then I hear her body's found, and she's dead. It's very shocking. Deputies have not released her cause of death. If you saw or heard anything suspicious, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. A North Carolina man has been missing for a month, and now his family hopes others may have some answers. Police say Daniel Moses disappeared the same day his North Carolina home burned to the ground. Northampton County investigators didn't find Moses after that June 16th fire, and they don't believe this fire is connected to his disappearance. Now, his family is offering a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to his return. I can't think of anybody that would want to hurt him. I can't think of a soul. I certainly can't. If you've seen Daniel Moses, you're asked to call the Northampton County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. We are saying welcome home to the Rawhides after members of Fleet Logistics Squadron 40 touched down at Naval Station Norfolk yesterday. And this sets the stage for several military homecomings this week, including the return of more than 4,000 sailors on board USS Enterprise. So to your side's Katie Collette is outside Naval Station Norfolk with a preview. This week of military homecomings started with a welcome home to the Rawhides. <laughs> members of Fleet Logistics Squadron 40 touched down at Naval Station Norfolk Tuesday. You know how much I missed you, buddy? How much? I missed you so much. The crew home after a six-month deployment with the Enterprise Carrier Strike Group. Fast forward to tomorrow, where three other squadrons are scheduled to come home and reunite with their own families. Those reunions will take place at Chambers Field at NAS Oceana. Then, Friday, the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise returns after a six-month deployment, supporting operations in the Mediterranean and Arabian Seas. Those aboard the USS Leyte Gulf, the USS Barry, and the USS Bulkley also return to Naval Station Norfolk Friday. Thousands of sailors scheduled to reunite with their families over the next couple of days. Now, in high definition, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. We're heating up already this afternoon. We're going for highs in the mid-90s. Those inland locations, you're going to be in the upper 90s, so it averages out to about 96. Hot and humid. A few late storms uh, in the afternoon. I'm thinking late afternoon, but really the evening and overnight. That's when we pick up that chance for rain. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s. Winds northeast at 5 to 10. That'll be a cold front moving through and could see some heavy rain at times. Seven-day forecast tomorrow. After that, we're looking good. 84. We'll see some sunshine through most of the day. Friday, mostly sunny 84 and that continues all the way into the weekend. And thank you for checking in with Wavy News Online. I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Carrie Fury. Our next newscast starts at 5 o'clock tonight. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online.